Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So we're gonna we're about to do a part two to a video that I recently did that you guys really really enjoyed and had requested a part two. We're trying celebrity brands. We're gonna be rating them like one through ten, like what we really think about them. Some makeup brands. Girl, we got the Hailey Bieber smoothie coming here. Tyler is picking it up right now. We got whip shots from Cardi B, skin from Kim, and more Addison Rae fragrances. So with that being said, smash that subscribe button and baby, we're gonna jump right in. I ordered some skincare from Skin, which is Kim's new skincare brand. And I wanted you guys to experience opening it with me because I thought this was like a different, unique celeb experience. So this is what it looks like. You get a piece of paper on top with Kim's face on it. And it's just like this newspapery feeling. And then they have the worms. And then it comes with a nice card that has the collection on it. I love the packaging because I feel like it looks so pretty. I feel like right now, more pretty aesthetic packaging is coming out and less branded packaging. So it's less all about the brand all over the packaging and more about keeping it really clean and minimal And that's just what this does. I think Cody is an investor in this skincare company who also bought a lot of Kylie cosmetics as well as Kim's beauty line So because this shipped from Cody so it's like they have to be involved, right? <laughs> I'm doing the math here and then this is the packaging it comes in So I'm gonna go ahead and get out everything that I ordered sadly I can't speak to like my full experience with the line because because I am opening it right here, but I wanted us to experience this together anyways. Oh, come in these eggs. Like, look at this egg. Can you see this? All right, I wanted to show you guys from my phone what the packaging that it comes in looks like. It's like this cardboard. It does feel very recyclable, like this packaging does. See, it says Cody on it, and then it has just, I don't know, kind of interesting. So I got the exfoliator, moisturizer, face cream. Love a little firming face cream as well as the cleanser. So you guys, opening it up, it is like a... Feels like a plasticky container. It does look really pretty. This is what the packaging looks like. And then it's like these little metal clamps are what kept the lids together and you just rip this off, I believe. I hope that was right. And then it comes with the scoop to apply it as well as some information on this little card. So that is the exfoliator. Let's open the moisturizer. You just like break this off. I've never seen packaging like this before. I definitely gotta give her an A plus in the category of uniqueness. I would do this much faster with two hands, but I'm trying to film for you too. Okay, here we have the face cream. And this is what packaging looks like, really minimal. And then lastly, we have the cleanser. I'm gonna open it and I'll be right back. So this is what the moisturizer looks like if you just bought the refill, which makes total sense to just buy the refill if you don't wanna buy the outer shell. This is not a mandatory item that you need. It's just packaging. There you have it. And then you just can pop that right in there like that. And that's kind of what that situation is. So let's open up the um, face cream. So this is what it looks like, just a close up of it. It had a seal on it, which I just ripped off. And then again, this has like the refill, I believe. Yep, right there. You can just like pop it in and out. Okay, so I got it out. This is what it looks like. So you could totally just buy the refill and save money and not get the outer shell packaging if you wanted to. I think buying the full thing that's not the refill is just you buying extra packaging. So just FYI on that. All right, here we have the exfoliator. It has an interesting top because it spins off and you kind of expect to pull it off and it spins, which I do like that. Okay, here we go popping out the exfoliator because this is just fancy packaging that it's in whenever you buy like the full size. And then you just pop it in there. So we're gonna try this stuff out. Okay, now that you've seen the close-ups of opening the packaging, I just want to try the moisturizer, but I will insert footage of me trying this tonight in my skincare routine just to tell you guys my thoughts on the first-time impressions on the wash and the exfoliator, so hang tight for that. But let's go ahead and use this moisturizer because we're about to get my skin prepped to try a new foundation that just came out from a celebrity brand. I don't know if you can guess who it is. So this is the cream moisturizer. It definitely feels like a cream. It does not feel like a gel, meaning it does feel a little bit heavier, but it not not too heavy. I would say like the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream feels way heavier than this. So this is almost somewhere in between a cream and a gel leaning a little heavier on the cream side of things. Oh, it feels so nice. Probably too heavy to wear under makeup, but I'm gonna go ahead and dab a little bit of this off. I don't know, I'm pretty dry, but I tend to like a little bit of a lighter moisturizer under my makeup. It has no scent, which I do like, so fragrance free, and it does feel super, super, super nice onto my skin. I mean, 
it looks great. <laughs> I feel almost like a cooling sensation to it. I mean, very, very, very minimally cooling sensation, but I think that's like the gel side of it. Feels good, so that's amazing. Do I do notice like on the packaging, like the packaging's matte, and whenever you put the lid back on with your hands after you use the cream, it does get a little bit shiny and messy, but I don't think it looks bad by any means, and I'm sure you could just like wipe it clean, but overall your packaging might get fingerprinty. I don't know, you can kind of see on mine. So just a heads up, on that but the actual product felt very very nice it's not cheap stuff I'll put some of the prices on the screen here so you guys can see that it was a pretty penny it's nice skincare so okay we're gonna try out the skin I'm gonna take off my makeup and then we're gonna try out the cleanser exfoliator and then moisturizer tonight just to see my first impressions I'll be right back all right here's the cleanser I've taken off my foundation but the cleanser kind of looks like a cream but it does feel really, really thick. And look how it's lathering. I really like the, oh, it's so thick. It feels rich, the cleanser. It's coating my face really well. Interesting. Next, we're gonna try out the exfoliator. Looks like this. Oh, it's really thick. It feels really fine grain. Like these feel like little bitty, tiny little grains. Oh, oh. It, Okay, this actually does have scent. It smells really good, so I'm just gonna exfoliate. Oh my gosh. I'll say this does feel like an aggressive exfoliator. Like, first impressions. Like, it feels like the real deal exfoliator, but it feels really nice. Okay, lastly, my skin does feel like really, really, really nice. Like, super smooth and clean. We're gonna do the cream and... This feels really nice as well. So I think like using these products together, it feels like amazing for sure. And my skin does feel really polished, glowy. Guys, I do like them and that's just first impressions, but also it feels very hydrated in my skin. So I love that. Let's go ahead and jump into <laughs> this foundation. So if you guessed it, House Labs. Can you guys guess House Labs for the foundation? Um, this is her new foundation. It's called the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. So I got this at Sephora and it is cutting edge long wear foundation that gives superior makeup performance without compromising your skin. It has 20 plus skincare ingredients within it. Medium buildable coverage, luminous. It's supposed to feel like a second skin. It's a liquid and it's supposed to be weightless. So a lot of claims on this babes, but we're about to try it out and see, is it real? I don't know, does it work? Is it good? Before we jump in, I wanna quickly give a shout out to Native for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You guys know I've been a long-term Native deodorant wearer. I like their deodorants because they're paraben-free, but I mostly like them because they're aluminum-free and they have a ton of great scents. So normally you guys see me hold up the plastic container, but they now have the 100% plastic-free container, as you can see on here, which is very exciting. It makes you feel good about buying the product, right? Their plastic-free packaging is the same formula as their regular deodorant and 92% of plastic free users prefer this packaging. Of course, it's great. So you just pop it off here and then it just pushes up. So down and then up. We're gonna go ahead and um, you know, use this immediately. <laughs> I'm like, I could use it in deodorant right now. This one smells really good. I have this one in lavender and rose. I also have this one in cucumber mint. I think this one is my favorite. They have like a sandal one, wood too. And then this one is eucalyptus and mint. It also smells divine. Native is a proud partner of 1% for the planet. And they are committing 1% of their non-plastic deodorant packaging sales to environmental nonprofits. Native is committed to sourcing packaging from responsibly managed forests. They're also vegan and cruelty free and they use ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. So three of the plastic free deodorants will be $39, but if you guys use my code and my link that's gonna be right down below, you can get all three for 26 and that's 33% off. So such an amazing deal. Thank you Native for giving that to my followers. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, I'll have that link and discount code right down below, three for 26. With that code, you can also get 20% off the body wash as well as the toothpaste. So be sure and check them out. Now let's jump back into this foundation. So I bought two shades. I got the shade 270 and 3. 
10 because I was like, I really want to get it right. <laughs> Watch them both be wrong. I can kind of be bad about picking up my foundation shade online. I'm trying to get better about that. But when I'm in store, I do a much, much, much better job. But I'll be honest, I do a ton of my shopping on e-commerce. I can't open it. I gotta say, I really love this packaging. It's sleek, it's pretty, it'd be even pretty to set out. So it's just a pump right here. And then it has the house labs on it. Oh my gosh, 270 looks like it would be an exact match with my skin I think oh it's a little warm so I know 310 is not gonna work I can get I can return that but <gasps> wow oh my gosh have you guys tried this it feels so like gel like like not too too liquidy if you guys can see it's like more of a thicker consistency and it feels so good let me zoom in okay guys can you see like how loomy it, it blends out like a dream like truly truly a dream all right guys I switched over to a sponge to blend it out because I kind of thought the sponge worked better because this kind of feels like in a way like a second skin serum foundation because once you get it blended out it's actually quite light coverage and I really think you could easily build it up to medium coverage if you wanted to but it's so pretty it almost gives me skin tint vibes but with a bit of pigment because again it is quite buildable so I'm just adding a little bit more I like this color for me it's super natural and like matches my neck but it also gives me this warm glowy feel again I am using the shade 270 gotta say so far first impressions I just I really 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 like it I think it looks so pretty and I think makeup has transitioned so much lighter than what it used to be like this has come out at the perfect time and it looks really glowy it says it's loomy I think it's really loomy I think also the moisturizer underneath is like enhancing this loominess but it looks really pretty I would definitely go ahead and set this so it doesn't slip inside around but if you want like a pretty lighter second skin type of foundation I do actually recommend this this is long wear but I would think like if you don't set this like it's going to maybe crease a little bit as these types of foundations typically do which isn't a bad thing it's just like you know not that full coverage matte beat face so it's a little bit of a different experience but overall I think it's so beautiful by the way let me give an update really quick on the foundation from house labs Gaga's brand is it shiny yes but it did wear really well it just gets shiny throughout the day but I would I would say this definitely wears well if you have oily skin beware of that if you have dry skin I think you'll be okay maybe a little extra setting powder and a touch up for my oily skin girls but it still looks pretty on the skin it just got a little shiny I had it on for probably eight hours not bad so that's my foundation update okay next up for miss Halsey about face I want to try out a couple products but the thing is some of these products have become my favorite for one we're gonna try out this liquid highlighter it's an illuminator and it's called roses in the wall she has a couple different shades on this but while my face doesn't have powder on it I wanted to go ahead and give it an away uh, give it a go this is her rosy version of this it's like a rose gold highlighter highlighter so it does look really pretty I'm so glowy right now honestly it's kind of like blending in with all this extra glowage happening did I just get that on my shirt I did not but this one is pretty pinky so if you're not into like a pinky more colorful highlighter I don't know if you would love this color but she does have some more muted shades that you might guys might be into but either way this one does blend in like a dream and I don't think it's one of those highlighters that's like neon from a million miles away I think it's like a little more subtle and pretty so I really enjoyed that next I really want to try this look I saw with this orange Ugh, you guys these little paints right here they're a really really cool product I gotta say like they are so pigmented and they're really cool whenever they dry down so she's got a bazillion colors in these and she's also got a similar like situation going on in the lip department which I'm gonna show you in just a second but let's try this out all right you guys are like wow you just did all your makeup but we're gonna do the pop of color by pop of color I mean just to pop so I like to give these a little mix I feel like it is necessary and then it does come with a lot of product and I personally if I'm gonna do a look all over I'll just apply it straight on but in this case I'm not so I'm gonna get a little brush and you know what I mean all right so I'm gonna get a little bit of this orange on here I'm just gonna apply it in my inner corner and then if you can see like these are so bold it only takes a little bit and now I'm gonna take a clean little fluffier brush and I'm gonna tap it out so it's kind of like this blended look <gasps> that is so pretty I wanted just that little pop so these have a little bit of playtime, but once the playtime is up, it dries down. Like it, it is what it is, you know what I mean? So you better take advantage. Ooh, that looks 
so fun. Okay, so you better take advantage of your playtime with it and then it's done. It sets in and it, these are very long wearing so I just love them. I actually just kept blending and like lightening up the orange look because I felt like it was a little <laughs> much to be honest. So then I added more down here and just blended that out. Cause I feel like it kind of left a weird situation going on. And I'm just gonna blend a little more of that cream pot right there in that inner corner. Voila! Okay, so I like the way this looks. It looks like a fun, honestly, a little more summery look. But I wanna show you guys her liquid lips. So my favorite colors are Obscure Desire and Sad Song. And I'm just gonna line my lips because you know, this part is just mandatory. I love a good lip liner, honey. This is Cool Brown from ABH. It's actually sold out like everywhere, but like Macy's I think has it. So anyways, here we go. We're gonna go in with Sad Song, which is a nude. And this is a pretty light caramelly nude almost. And it's a really good nude. And I really like her dope foot applicators because I feel like they're kind of pointy and stiff. So I can just use them to blend out the edges like that. Isn't that such a nice nude lip? So I'm gonna finish my makeup and then I wanna show you guys the setting spray from Halsey. What is this? I wanna show you guys it. I have to, so I'll be right back. All right, we're about to set it with our little setting gun. Ready? Ooh, it has a really strong mister on it, but it still lets it out in a fine mist. Here we go. I love it, I love it. I feel like my face gets a good kaploosh. So this is supposed to be a mattifying setting spray and we're actually like quite the opposite vibes today, but I do kind of feel like it mattified us down a little bit. So it's called the matte fix spray and you know, it like settled the foundation down a little bit with a shine, but it still, it, it doesn't like matte you out like extremely, but I really like it. And honestly, the bottle's fun. It's fun, it's edgy, I'm into it. Let's move on to the Hailey Bieber smoothie that's coming in this room wow, in five, crazy. four, Three, three, two, one, and bam, just like there that, that, there it is in my face. It's magic. All right, I we're gonna get a try seat it. For these things. These no, are $17 smoothie, by the way. It's supposed to be good oh, for yeah. your skin, hair, and nails, and that's why she kind of came out with it. She came out with her skincare line, and then she did a collab with Erwan coming out with this strawberry <laughs> smoothie. I'll roll a TikTok on it so you guys can see more. Today I'm at Erwan to try the new Hailey Bieber Strawberry Glaze Skin Smoothie. It's made with strawberries, almond milk, hyaluronic acid, avocado, dates, all kinds of good stuff. As you can see, just from an aesthetic standpoint, it is absolutely beautiful. $17, one smoothie, here we go. That's 17 before tax too. So how much total? It was like a $19 smoothie. <laughs> okay, so the real price is like 19 bucks. Yeah. I was tempted to try it on the way home. And you did it, huh? Mm -mm. Tastes like strawberries and bananas, no different. Just straight up strawberry banana. Yeah. It's so good though, like it is very like sweet and it makes me wanna just like keep drinking it. I do like it, but yeah, literally strawberries and bananas. Mm -hmm. This is like coconut cream, that's the white part going down. Oh, Ear One is a bougie grocery store and it's not just in LA, but they're like really popular here. If you guys don't know what Air One is and the prices of their stuff is like crazy, but I will say they have the best deli department where you can like pick up lunch and stuff. And they have the best produce department too. Ever, their, their produce, produce is like so good. Anytime y'all see Lars uh, on Instagram stories, snapping produce it's probably an air one every time i do i get a bunch of dms and they go gosh your grocery stores in la are so pretty compared to ours and i'm like no no just there one the rest of the grocery stores is like normal grocery stores but it literally looks like stage it's so pretty the way they do the produce i'm about to be beautiful give me that ah! okay here you go wait let's move on so we got to try out this wait next, oh, am i trying with you still this has got alcohol in it Okay, mm. so this is a shot of alcohol. This is a collab with Cardi B. And whip shot. Whip shot. So they are vodka infused whipped cream shots. You can put them on top of a shot, you can put it on top of a mixed drink, or you can just squirt it in your mouth a like we're about nipple. to do now. What? A buttery nipple. Where? A shot with whipped cream on top of it. You gotta be 21 to purchase up in the United States. It says do not refrigerate. Yeah, he told me that in the store too. That There's doesn't no feel, dairy in it. That Oh, uh, okay. But that doesn't so. feel right to me. It says to share. Shake it, turn it upside down for 30 seconds, and then, you know, give it a squirt. You can also put it on an espresso or coffee. You do this one, I like vanilla. Don't put a lot. Don't put a lot. <laughs> Don't get it all over my face. You ready? 
It didn't get all over your face. <laughs> Stop it! Whoa. It's Whoa. so bad. <laughs> Let me get something. Jesus Christ, you got it everywhere. It tastes like a shot of alcohol. Does it really? Is it strong? It's strong. It's really strong. Here, babe, just take it. Take a little lick. Ew, not a. It's been in your mouth. Oh please. I would like a fresh shot. Okay, do you want to try this one? I do. Yeah. We're gonna give him mocha. All right. <coughs> My throat. Are you ready? Do you want a little one or a lot? Dang, golly. You're gonna be drunk out of this. You okay? That's strong. It is strong, honey. I thought it was gonna be like whipped cream, but then like I couldn't swallow it because it was just like so nasty and it tastes like alcohol. Yeah, it tastes like a vodka shot. It tastes like a vodka shot. That's why I had to spit it out. <gasps> oh, it's dripping. I mean, that would be, I feel like that would be good on, on top of to like a shot or like something. It like cold or something. Oh, see, this would be really good with a mixed drink. I feel like just taking them straight to one. the mouth. Do I want to try Yeah, I'll one? give you a baby one. Do me a baby, a baby one. one. Ah! That's baby. <laughs> Spit it out again! Why are you spitting this out? All right, the next video that we the eat it or wear it. What is it? The eat it or truth videos. We're gonna do this in it because Laura is terrible. It's Honestly, the smoothie just clean cleans my mm. palate. I think these would be good mixed. No, don't, what is? Don't don't. This is a seventeen dollar smoothie. Come on. Even the head. <laughs> out here ruining the smoothie, putting out. Mm. Let me get one more sip before it's twisted in there. Get out of here. You're done. I just made this a twenty dollars smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> Whip shots. Try them with your shots. Don't just eat them. That's all the advice I have for you. Our next product. Okay, we have Addison Ray came out with fragrances. So I bought all three. We have all three here. We're gonna smell them right now. They're Chill AF fragrances by Addison Ray, and the packaging is quite interesting on them. Look at that. This is the blue one. Oh, this one's Chill AF. This one is Happy AF. This one is Hyped AF. So it has like this tie-dye cloudy pack. <gasps> It is mood packaging. It changes with the warmth of your hands. Are you kidding me? That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Um, that's why the outside of the box is kind of like a mood ring. This is so cool. Their fragrances by Addison Rae. Come touch it. Isn't that that's so cool? That's so cool. Talk about catering to a young audience. I'm out here buying it. <laughs> wow, look at this. Are you ready? Ooh. Wow. It's really, really cool. Okay, uniqueness, she's getting a 10. So far, everything's gotten a 10. Cardi B whip shots. That I struggle with, because I'm not the biggest into experimental alcohol things. Experimental I'm gonna alcohol. give her an 8.5. I'm gonna give Halsey a 10 on the makeup. I'm definitely giving, um, my favorite thing I've tried so far is the foundation from House Lab, so that's getting a 10. Skin, honestly, it's really nice. I want to give her a nine. I'm going to give that a nine. Anyways, let me try these. Oh, the smoothie is getting an 8.5. Price, it's getting a seven. The price, it's expensive. For the price, it's getting a seven. Okay, here we go. We're going to try Happy AF. Oh, I guess I need a... Mmm. This one smells really good. It smells like something that I've smelled before. The notes are pink lychee, or is it lychee? Is it lychee? Lychee. Okay. Red grapefruit, peony. I smell a lot of peony. It's very floral. Violet leaves, nectar, rose. See, it says occasions, great for vacation, beach days, dates, watching the sunset. It's light, it's very sweet, and it's floral. So that's what I can tell you about that. I do smell a lot of orchid, and uh, it smells really, really good and clean too. So it's pretty light. Next, we're gonna try Chill AF. This one's great for movie nights, long drives, and digital detoxes. I don't know what that means. Pear blossom, apple, red lemon grass, calamon tea, lily, sandalwood, milky musk. Let's spray this one on my leg. Oh, this smells. I don't really smell as much sandalwood, but it smells really um, sweet. Fruity. This one's sweet and fruity. This one is floral. Okay, moving on to the last one. We have Hyped AF. Hi, Dea says mandarin, blood orange, so we're going with citrus on this one. Um, nectarine, white woods, clean must, dance parties, game nights, and leg day. <laughs> this one's great for leg day, so I'm going to spray this one on this leg. 
Oh, it smells like a little orange. It smells like it looks. Ooh, it smells orange and clean. So all these smell really beautiful, and I will say these two are the most similar. One's a little, they're both sweet. One's uh, floral, one's fruity, and then this one is just pure citrus, and it does smell really, really good. So overall, I like them, and I give her a 10 out. I'm giving her a 10 on these because um, the packaging is so cool. Very chic, too. See, again, not very branded. Everything's very hidden and nice to set out. So I'm into that. Great job, Addison. All right, last item, Kourtney Kardashian, which I'm kind of surprised, but I'm happy she did it. She collabed with Boohoo on a massive collection. They came out with a ton of stuff together. So this collection is called Kourtney Kardashian X Boohoo. I'm going to try this stuff on for you, but I got a couple of the pieces and like almost every, there was only like two expensive pieces and everything else was extremely affordable. And I thought that was really cool that she did that in her collection. So, and the stuff, I mean, I have a lot of Boohoo clothing and like they have great quality. So anyways, of course I bought this oversized, like, well, I guess it's not oversized. They really only had one size left and I think I got a small, yeah, a small in this hoodie. And it says Blink-182. You guys, I listen to Blink-182 all the time. I can still sing every word to almost every single song. So when I saw she came out with Blink-182. Hello there, the angel from my nightmare. Love that song. It's on my Apple Music right now, that song. Um, but anyways, I thought that was cute because she's married to Travis, who was the drummer of Blink-182. Then I got the leather skirt. I actually have one of these from Aritzia that costs an arm and a leg, and then I got this one for like a couple bucks. I got it in a US size four, and it does look like it's going to fit, so I'll try that on. And then I just picked up this pink stripe blazer they did have pants to go with it but i thought this could be cute with a little black dress or something and i got this one in a size us size 12 so got i think i got a little oversized here but i picked up that and then lastly from the boohoo line i got this really really pretty black maxi dress so it has adjustable straps so you can adjust those to how you need them and it comes down in a v in the front and it is a satin material so it's kind of like a matte satin but it feels really soft and silky and just like this breathable long black dress. I feel like it would be a pretty basic and something I could wear all the time. It also has a low drop back. So this piece was really gorgeous. The whole collection's kind of dark and what her vibe is right now. So I thought that was cool, but overall I love it. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed me trying out celebrity brands because as you can see, they're everywhere and they're all over the place. And here I am to test them out for you so you don't have to, or maybe you want to. We'll see what the good good is. You guys don't forget to check out Native Deodorant it three for 26 on the plastic free packaging be sure and use my link and code listed right down below and subscribe before you leave i love you guys and i'll catch you in my next video